types of people at all different levels to share different parts of your Kadia. And I've, I've shared this with you, Ron. You know, I took the stuff on on uh, chemistry and, and spoke to physicists and chemists and got the same kind of reaction that you did on chemtrails, okay? So, you, yep. think, you know, there it is. It's in front of you. It's not as if I'm talking about, you know, widgets. I've, I'm actually showing you in front of you and they, they literally will refuse. They'll, they want to pluck their eyes out yep. Uh, yep. rather than see what's in front of them. Yep. Well, he, here's, here's the change of, of, of time and circumstance that I think we all need to, to, to humble ourselves at. There are bigger things at work than you or I as we are in our flesh. There are bigger things at work, Ron. And one of the bigger things at work is that despite us or without us, people are waking up all around the world. And when I mean waking up, I mean coming to you as if they've been studying UK for years. This is happening mm -hmm. all around the world. So it means our focus truly needs to be different from thinking our quest is to wake up as many people. It's got, we're going to stop that mindset now. This is why I keep saying the, the waking up is not our department. Right. What is our department is that we have in place the tools, the systems, and that we have really road tested what we're talking about in terms of the canons for what comes next. I believe that, that collectively the waking up is reaching a point of no return. I really believe that of an unprecedented level. Mm -hmm. what, what is uncertain is how ready we will be for the future. And our job should be to narrow that gap. Now, if we can narrow it down to the fact that we can say when a country collapses uh, and when these people are, are dragged out and hung up by their sho shoes, that uh, here's the financial system, here's the, here's the charters, here's the structure of societies, here's the, the systems of law, here's the systems of commerce, here's education, here's all the things that we need to get back on track, then I think the disruption will be minimal. But we've got to, I think, got to look at the bigger picture sometimes and, and recognize that people are waking up regardless of what we are doing. So our focus, I think, needs to shift. Do you, you know what I'm saying? Sure, but we also need, you know, trained people to help lead the, you know, the uninitiated into the proper channels, you know. Well, that, well then that's why I would say to anyone now is, don't lay siege to someone because you think you can save that one. Look for people who are ready. They're out there. Right. They're out there. So look for the people who you think are ready and bring them on because they are out there. Just connect them up. Now, if you're going to spend four months dealing with someone who's not ready, you've just wasted four months of valuable time. Oh, yeah. So don't worry about that guy who rolls his eyes. He's not ready. Oh, don't no. write I, him off. I was, don't I was, write him off. Right. Yeah. I was just bringing up the example of cognitive dissonance, the, the terminology. Uh, and I think it's important, but I have covered it um, in, in aspects of, of what we call mind terror okay. and, and cognitive trauma. So I'd love you to have a look at those. If you don't feel that we cover it well enough, then obviously we can, like all the canons, it's all subject to refinement, review, sure. and improvement. I have one other Ron, item. Thank, yeah, go, go. And this uh, revolves around the 709 package. Now, <clears throat> on the form, the the very first entry is the don uh, the donor. This is the estate gift tax form. Yep. And <clears throat> what I've done there is that's the person, the all cap name, with the with the social security number, which happens to be the trust number. Then on page two, there's the donee, which is the man, the beneficiary. Now, the way I figure it, and I hope people will understand this, is that the <clears throat> your wages, your dividends were paid to the person, the Sista KV Trust, with that number. You, being the beneficiary, benefited from 
that transaction. It's it's like a pass through account or a pass through mm-hmm. trust. So that's why it appears that I've used the same name twice, but I didn't. The first one's the person. The second one is the people, the man, the woman. So I, I just wanted to explain that. No, it's great, Ron. And, and uh, you know, in the past, I've had all all kinds of, or people have had all kinds of confusion when they understand what's all caps, what's proper case, and what's lowercase. And it, it is as it, it looks like the same name, but really, it's all the circumstance of of where you sit. So I think that was well explained, Ron. Good on you. Thank you. Thanks, Ron, and thanks for everything you're doing at the moment. Good on you. Take it easy, Frank. Thank Thank you, Ron. Bye, Terry. All right, next we have uh, another uh, question on the phone line. So we have uh, Darwin Bourne. Are you there? Hello. Uh, Am I? Ah, Darwin. Yes. Yeah, good day. Um, I don't know if uh, I put my questions in the right text over there. Can you read? Can you read? I put put five questions in already. Did you read them? Uh, well, let me have a look. Uh, I couldn't tell who you were, uh, Darwin, over there. Uh, so you're welcome to go ahead and put your question on the phone line here. Oh right. Oh yep. Um, <laughs> well, I'll go to the first one. Now, what 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 happens if if uh, we have a community of youths that have been incarcerated and, and, and they're, they're not really able to, they're not physically capable, emotionally capable to be able to come up to competency. How, how, well, how is it possible to represent, have those people represented by an individual or by... Y- yes, well, the, the, the answer is that... Um, by understanding the role that is the role of executor in yes. court, we now understand the legal connection between a very old term, a Latin term in the Roman law system called amicus curiae, or friend of the court. And uh, it it is a role that has not uh, been... Um, it is never adequately described in public and the reason I believe it's not adequately described is that it is a back door that recognizes that if one is identified as either an executor a guardian or a trustee that has an interest with the man or woman that is uh, being plonked there because of the charges against the person then they can come into the court and speak to the court. So uh, a person that can uh, present themselves as a guardian or an executor or a trustee. Now, in our case, uh, prior to the plea, prior to the pre, I can't even say, prior to the plea, which then appoints the judge as the executor, in the first instance, the prosecutor, the pro se cutus, is presenting themselves as the executor. And they're doing that by uh, identity theft, identity fraud, and they tell us in plain sight, pro se, uh, on my behalf, cutus skin. Uh, so pro se cutus literally means uh, on behalf of my own skin on behalf of me. So they are the ones that are coming in first and presenting themselves as the presumed executor. They're not actually appointed, but it's a presumption. So when we are sent a summons, we can notify the court, and we have documents to this effect, that we have appointed either ourselves or another party or another group as as our executor. And this gives us the opportunity to bring someone on our behalf competent into the court without them having to be a member of the bar. So you follow what I've just said? Yep. Um, well, really. now, does, does, the same, does, does the same principle apply to people who have been incarcerated under mental health laws or rules or whatever they call it? Yeah. Uh, still got the court, like it's a division of the court. When you go to the 
uh, mental health, uh, when the, these kids go to the mental health, and it's part of the court, like it's part of the court system, the mental health yes. committee, or whatever yes. they're going to have to appeal before the board. So is it the same process with, with, with that body as well? No, they, no, be, they, because... Not, right. What yeah, role the problem, are they the pro- Sorry, keep going, yep. Well, if they're, if they're not acting as an executor, um, like I understand that, that, that they can act as, uh, you know, duty of care or forced duty of care due to your incompetence or whatever, and they're, they're taking that line. But is it, who, sure. what's the position that we, who, who, who do we, <laughs> yeah. Well, the, the, the problem, okay, the problem with mental health, and uh, and typically this is done at a magistrate's court rather than what we call a higher court, because at a magistrate's court, a magistrate, uh, firstly, the magistrate is merely administrator, but in the magistrate's court, the the clerk of the magistrate's court is effectively the clerk of the um, of the hospital district or the hospital region under the local government act that treats all of us as mental patients. So the clerk of the court, effectively, and the magistrate, is using the guardian powers which are the most powerful powers from the 19th century to treat us as mental patients, which is why magistrates can issue summary judgments and effectively imprison people um, that they say, you know, have a mental problem. The the problem, once you've actually been um, uh, surveyed uh, on mental health through a psych evaluation or through some other claim, is that uh, their system pretty much locks up on the guardianship and that to challenge them on their guardianship uh, requires a, a fair bit of legwork through the first parts of the ecclesiastical deed process, which is all about dissolving those. Uh, and I don't yet have a clear enough process for people that straight up are dealing with that kind of issue, whether it be children that they're claiming from mental health or adults from mental health. But it is an issue. I got raised this the other day. It is an issue. And and, and one of the reasons we've done the cognitive law is that uh, they are using increasingly psychology and mental health as the new inquisition. So I don't actually, I can't give you on the phone today a a step forward process, but I will say to you that it is a very important priority for Eucadia to provide some answers to this for you, even though I can only direct you at the moment to the ecclesiastical deed process. Okay? So in other words, it's all it's because it's, oh, I've got the hospital bit in the water, so it's all the register stuff, all the original things, the most important thing when you're dealing with mental health, and severing all the, like that, the original cest of KVs, if you like, the birth Absolutely. Or, that is the source of their power, absolutely. Right. Yes. So, okay. So then, so that then once you sever that, then it's up, or I guess that then the onus just becomes they're making an argument uh, as a bit as you, you've already informed them that you take. Right. Okay. So that's right. Um, and if it's possible to ask uh, a third of the fifth five questions that are asked now instead of going back into the queue, or do you want me to go back into the queue? Well, look. Um, depends how how short answer. You, you now you have every right to ask me. Well, you got questions, so you have every right to ask me. But far away. Well, the question's pretty quick, but I don't know how, lo- how long the answer will take. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah, yeah, that's more right. More information than more helpful. So, um, the, the next question I make regards to the supermarkets, um, yeah. because uh, so people within the communities that we're discussing um, are being effectively administered to by the supermarkets. And, yeah. Uh, the, the, the supermarkets actually have a, 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 a corporate and a personal involvement internationally as well as nationally here in Australia with, yep. the, with the pharmaceutical industries, with the primary yep. production industries, with the, right across yep. the board, all the different things. And they are um, using, well, from what I can ascertain from all of their websites, and so, ecclesia, or, or the right of ecclesiastical office to do use these administrative powers, which are, 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 I can see the government has passed on to them. And sure. So, 
stable in, in the Northern Territory where they have like the intervention, well, essentially people 